What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode in the leaderboard event. Now it's time to reset the claim. So we're in here at the tablet. We're going to go in here, go to the old Glen Bank here, and we're going to go to our Nighthawk Valley parcel here, and we're going to click to reset. Now you can read this. It says you can't undo. Your digging grounds will be completely reset. Big machinery moved to storage. Trailers and big water pumps will be reset to default places, and small items will be sold. Do we want to proceed? Yes. Yes, we do. So, bam, there's a million gone. Let's. Whoa, that was loud. Everything just reset and like flew around. So. Okay, apparently they're really not gentle on our stuff. They just like lobbed it everywhere. So, anyway, let's go take a look here and see what is what. So come all the way on down here, and as you can see, everything is gone. All our equipment and everything. So what that means is we got to transfer it all back out here, get it all reset up, buy our little bits and bobs back. Because honestly, I wasn't gonna disconnect everything, and you know, it's just not worth the time for how cheap everything is. So anyway, as you guys can see, everything is now reset. Um, I did kind of screw up. I forgot to take my magnetite buckets, but oh well, not a big deal. But anyway, as you can see, everything is reset. The claim is all brand new, ready to be, ready to be mined again, ready to be drilled. So most importantly, it's time to drill. So we're going to go up to the tablet again. We're going to transfer or transport our drill out here and one of our big fuel tanks. And that's going to be what we do for this episode we're going to be doing a bunch of drilling and then i'm going to get the claim reset back up buy all the little bits and bobs and get it ready to go again so i'm going to actually go over here and shut off my lights here everything's like got stacked up apparently so i'll have to i'll have to reset one of them trailers to get it to get it to be okay again because yeah a little bit weird a bit goofy way of resetting it but sure you know I guess it works so as you can see everything that was in here is also all cleared out which I'm not sure why they do that but whatever you know not a big deal we didn't have anything worth much in there same with all our like hoses and stuff that were out there none of it was really worth that much and it's really not in my opinion for me anyway it really wasn't worth uh, me unhooking everything and stuff considering everything's pretty cheap but anyway so we're gonna go here we need our drilling machine and everything else I will get I will get brought out here at another time so as you can see everything is still here and it's ready to come back out but for now all we want is the drilling machine and the fuel tank to refuel with so let's go find our drilling machine actually let's not even bother trying to find it let's just do it the smart way here so we're going to need to throw some fuel in it real quick and then we'll get ourselves going. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to get this all reset up off camera. I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. This is going to be, you know, just the normal monotonous grind of doing, doing that stuff. So, oops, got to go this way. Hose is over on this side. But yeah, we're going to get... You know as much I do say as much as possible uh, all mapped out with the drill here I'm gonna do the whole claim before I even bother trying to set anything up um, might as well get all that stuff all up and running again and ready to go so again I'll do that off camera I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that because that's just gonna be you know the same same normal plain Jane stuff but I figured I'd show the drilling just so we could hopefully see a little bit of the of what's going on. Now, depending on what we find with the drill and you know setting up the claim again, it might be another day to get get the videos back out non-camera again, um, just because of how long this is probably going to take. 
so just be fair warned depending on how this goes or I might make a video you know just like a overall progress video so you guys can see what's going on or who knows maybe I might actually make that video where I show you guys uh, making the trail to the gold depends on where the gold is too because honestly right now it's anybody's guess where this gold could be again because it's all reset I don't know if it's gonna be the exact same um, I guess we'll find out though I will say if it is the exact same that's gonna be kind of weird but let's take a look here at the first starting one so okay we got crap and crap so you know that's what we expected well I guess I really don't know what to expect to be honest hell it could have all been right there you know so I guess we'll find out I don't know if we're gonna get a whole claim mined out <laughs> before the end of the leaderboard event I really doubt it uh, it's gonna depend on how much time I have as to how much I can get done so like I said I'm still gonna push for the rank one spot however with the with the issues that I had last couple days that really put us behind that crappy clean out was a huge you know huge waste of time so I apologize for that I was really expecting better I'm and again uh, this video before I forget to mention this video is getting made right after the last one so if you guys commented to let me know uh, why the clean out was that bad I haven't seen it yet so like I said I'm still confused why that clean out was so bad I have no idea uh, most of the tiles that we mined were in the 250 to 400 plus range for gold ounces in the tile and you know the gold was uh, a lot of the tiles had a had a lot of overburden in them you know what really kills me is that ramp we had checked out the numbers for the ramp earlier in the season and the gold numbers that were in there were really impressive so I'd really like to know what happened to the gold because I know where I put those buckets in the clean out or I know where a couple of them were and we didn't really see what should have been in there for gold so I don't know Oh, looks like we found a decent spot here. So we're going to go back here. We're going to continue the strip across and then come back. And once we get up there, we'll be checking that out. So hopefully it's, it'd be really nice if it was all in one area. So we could just get like a really easy, easy trail made again and mine like, you know, everything from one spot. But, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. I wonder if it is going to be the same. If it is, I really don't know what to say about that. If it's the same thing again, I'll probably do the exact same kind of trail. Um, although I'm going to slightly do the trail a bit different. I want the trail to be a bit more smooth, a bit more drivable. So I don't have any issues going up or down with it. And... To start off with it's going to be overburden removal so again I probably won't show overburden removal on camera just because you know overburden removal is boring as shit um, <laughs> and it's there's I don't know overburden removal is just very boring part of the part of the process unfortunately it has to be done um, I wish you could pay a worker to you know I don't know how much per tile, but shit, I'd I'd pay twenty grand a tile to have them remove that crap for me. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying it would be well worth well worth the money and well worth saving the time to be able to pay like a worker or something twenty grand a tile. Just say here, you do these, you do these twenty tiles. Here's four hundred thousand dollars. You know bam easy easy way to get right to the gold now obviously yeah they're not gonna ever put anything like that in the game 
but no, I'm just saying, I would be more than willing to pay somebody to do that. <laughs> more than willing, because I, I don't know. The overburden just is like, I dread doing it so bad. I mean, it's just, there's nothing like, I don't know, there's nothing that just like, how do I want to put it? Ah. Uh, there's nothing with overburden removal that like captures and like holds your attention while playing. You know when you're mining and you know you're bringing pay dirt up to run for gold. You know there's there's something that just catches you and keeps you there to power through all the mining and stuff like that. When you're doing overburden, you're going, oh my god, every one of these scoops is going in the garbage. Nothing's going through the wash plant. It's just ugh, but. You know it's got to be done and for me normally i would i would just pop on spotify listen to some great music and just chill and power through it so you know for the most part that worked really well but i gotta say with the amount of time i've been putting in each day to this game lately for the event uh, i gotta say i'm starting to get a little bit burned out on it um we're still going to finish off the event season. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go, oh, hey, you know, uh, for me personally, you know, I'm not going to say, hey, you know, I've been, we've been busting our hump this long. We're in second place now. That's good enough for me. No, I want, I want to try to get to first place for you guys and for myself. Um, and I'm not saying anything against anybody who just goes, hey, you know, I'm guaranteed top 10. That's, that's great. Because, you know, obviously I'm, I'm more than ecstatic to get a top 10 finish. I have no problem with with just getting that. But, you know, my goal is to get that number one spot. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get it. I really don't. I can honestly admit I don't think I'm going to get it. But I'm still going to try for it, no matter what. No matter how much of a lead that guy in number one gets on us, I'm going to try for it. So hopefully he like runs out of steam and goes, oh, you know, I can't, I can't deal with the overburden anymore. And I can just scoop my happy ass right up on in there to the first place. And that'd be fantastic. Whoops. I let that get all the way down. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. But however, he's been making steady progress. I haven't been able to check the last couple days though. Cause like I said, my internet, but I know he put, he put a little bit more of a lead on us, and to be honest, I was really counting on that that last clean out that we did to really cut the gap, and it didn't. So I was counting on that to give us a big boost up. I was pretty much counting on that to be about 125 ounce per clean out average, and you know what, we got. 900 out of 12 so yeah that was yeah that was that was pretty bad because that makes what about a 75 ounce average something like that i'm not even sure right offhand to be honest or actually no that make about an 80 ounce average so we were like <laughs> you know two-thirds of what i wanted to have for an average on that but you know what do you do sometimes it's just whatever happened happened like I said you guys might have commented and let me know by now but I haven't you know obviously I'm making these videos back to back so I haven't been able to check but I'd really like to know what the hell happened cuz I know we were on better gold than what come out of that wash plant I know we were so pretty upset pretty confused by that but at the end of the day like I said it's 915 ounces we didn't have in our in our account and me bitching and complaining about it isn't gonna get us any more gold so we just got to keep powering through and do what we're doing but anyway it looks like we found a couple little hot spots um, holy balls 885 ounces and that's like Solid goodies. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm getting excited.
See, now this is the part I like. When you find gold like this and you go, oh yeah. You know. This is what we're after right here. This is what breathes, you know, the excitement into the game for me. Seeing stuff like this and going, hmm. Now I wonder what we can get for clean outs out of this. Are we going to get an 80 ounce clean out because something's like messed up in the game? Or are we going to get like a 200 ounce clean out and just like, you know. Oh yeah. Excited to see what's around this this little honey hole here. It looks like it's actually about in the same spot as, as what the other one was. So maybe it is pretty much the same. Huh. Now I know obviously the the layers in the dirt are going to be way different. You know, like this one has that one tile was only like a meter of overburden. That's that's a a lot of gold underneath that. So Oh boy, 900. Wow. This is one hell of a hot spot here. I'm going to actually mark the squares that we've already poked around it like these. And you know, that's a pretty nice square there too. And this is where it starts to fade off. This tile obviously won't get mined. This one, you know, it's 250 ounces, but we want the we want the big money stuff and we're going to be skipping all the crap. I'm not going to I need to let the crap go and go just for the big stuff this time around and get it quick, get it done move on and if need be reset the claim again however like i said i don't think we're gonna have to worry about resetting the claim again but you know it depends on what we take for tiles if we only focus on the tiles that are say i don't know this is just gonna be a a randomish kind of number i'm just gonna put out there for, just for making a point but say we stick with all tiles above 300 ounces you know that's all we go for is if the tile doesn't have 300 ounces of gold in we don't we don't mine it we don't run the dirt so you know obviously it's just you know a number to make a point but that might be what we do we might say okay you know 300 is a little high we need that if it's under 250 then we'll consider it bad enough you know whatever it ends up being but I'm going to set some magic freaking number and if the tile doesn't have that much gold I'm not mining it this time around and that's going to mean all our cleanouts are going to be really good and if they're not something is going on with the game end not on my end so like say for instance these three tiles here have almost 3,000 ounces of gold in it if we mine those three and the cleanout is not well over 150 ounces for the clean out you know then we'll go okay you know something is something is not right it's not on our end it's something in the game then you know i'll be able to i'll be able to sleep a little easier knowing that that last clean out wasn't my fault but i still don't think it is i still don't know how it would have been like i said i made sure I did not screw with anything that was crappy by any means. Everything that was overburden or low yield gold, I scraped off through in the dump truck or chucked on the ground over there and did not bother with it because I knew we needed, we needed solid numbers and we needed not to waste our time on, you know, trivial amounts of gold. Obviously I say it's trivial, trivial amounts, but hell, you know, for anybody watching this video, and for me too, 200 ounces of gold obviously isn't trivial to us. But, you know, if I could find a nice square of of dirt that had 200 ounces of gold, I'd be out there. I'd be out there digging with a freaking spoon if I had to to get it. <laughs> Just saying, if I could get my hands on 200 ounces of gold, I would do it. You know, I'd love to mine. I'd, I'd honestly love to go gold mining sometime. That would be great. Take a trip up to like Alaska or something like that. Go pan for gold. That'd be freaking phenomenal. Would I want to do an operation like this? 
Absolutely not. Why? Oh my God, can you imagine the headache of trying to do an operation like this? I mean, yeah, I don't think it'd be anything remotely like what, well, what the game is. Because obviously, you know, you're not going to have to worry about about the same kind of things because obviously this is just a like a represent somewhat representation of how it actually goes but you know obviously it's nothing nothing like this um, but anyway I would love to go panning gold in like a crick or, some, or a river up there something along that lines a big operation like this I don't think I'd want to do it. I don't. Um, who knows? Maybe it wouldn't be too bad. Maybe it'd be fun. You know, getting to see cleanouts like we like we see in the game, or you know, even anything remotely like that. To be honest, you know, say, I mean, hell, just being a person that's never got to like mine gold per se like that. It, it'd be awesome just to see a 10 ounce clean out, you know, just to get to hold and see that gold or see like a nice nugget come out of the ground. That'd be freaking awesome. Uh, you know, I love the outdoors, so getting to go gold mining in like a stream or something out in the backwoods of Alaska, you could count me in on that in a heartbeat. I'd do that in, in an instant. No questions asked, I'd be packed and ready to go. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go a few more squares here. Actually, we'll probably take a look here after this square. Just to see what we're looking at. Um, let's take a look. It's looking kind of nice. Gotta say, it's looking pretty nice. We found... These are some really nice tiles around here. So, this is looking like this is going to be... An even better honey hole. And you know, if we do set a 300 ounce mark, everything with the exception of like this tile and this tile in this chunk is going to be mineable. So I think we might actually go with just 300 ounces just because, you know, these tiles are great. I mean, once we get a trail down in here, this is going to be fabulous as hell. So I'm going to mark these so I know my line of drilling whoops and we're going to keep going across and see what else we can find and we'll probably end the episode after we mark out this chunk not like the next couple tiles but i want to actually mark out this whole honey hole with you guys because i want to know how big this is and to be honest it's almost, it almost makes me want to say, you know what, let's mark this out, get it, get our cut into it and start mining it. But I know I gotta, I gotta drill the whole claim. I can't just drill a little spot and say, all right, good enough, let's mine it. I want to get everything drilled, get the drill back off the claim. And, you know, that way we know exactly what we're looking for, exactly our whole plan of action for you know the next few days because obviously mining all this if this honey hole is as big as it's looking is going to be it's going to be quite a job it's going to be quite the quite a lot of quite a lot of dirt to move however the overburden on top of it looks fabulous there's only a little bit oh my god this is going to be nice this is what we needed you know low overburden on top it's going to make this, you know, just so much more enjoyable to do. So, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to making making a trail down in here. However, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make the trail this time around. Uh, I might do something a little bit different. You know, our last trail, it, our last path worked freaking awesome. I mean, except for a couple little hang-ups with it. It worked fabulous. Oh my god, it just keeps going. No overburden on that tile. Almost none on that. Oh my god. We need this so bad. Absolutely so bad. Yes, just keep it coming. We got... Oh, yeah. 
we need this so bad. This might actually be what what can get us into that first place. You know, I'm... Oh, yeah. I'm excited now. I'm very excited. Can't wait to get into this and just start going to town. You know, I don't think on a... You know, before we reset on the last the last set of tiles on the claim I don't think we've seen any numbers like this I think our best numbers were like high sixes and we're getting tiles in the nines so oh my god I can't wait to see the cleanups from this I but I gotta I gotta like gotta control myself I can't just like stop drilling and start mining I just gotta I gotta wait I gotta be patient and I still got to set up the claim. Oh, man. I'm going to be putting on me a lot of hours into this to make sure this gets gets going quick. Very quick. Because seeing numbers like this, oh, yeah. I'm excited to get into this. So excited. I hope that there's more, more big number tiles up over there because we definitely need it. Definitely need it. Quit sliding. You're going to break my drill bit. Not really, but... All right, let's check this out. All right, so another pretty good tile. This is kind of the edge, and another really good tile. So all this so far is absolutely fabulous. Well, let's keep it going. Uh, we're going to mark these all off. So I know, again, I know we're not to mine. Or not to mine. Not to... You no, know, we're definitely mining this, but I know where to drill. So. Come on, drill bit turbo drive. We ain't got time to, no time to waste. We gotta know, we gotta know what the gold is. Come on, come on, turn, turn the wheel. Oh my God, yeah. I, like I said, I can't say it enough. I'm excited as hell to get into this stuff and see what comes of it. Definitely gonna have to kick my ass into high gear to get to work on this stuff quick. Very quick. So that looks like it's where it starts to trail off. So now we need to go up. We're going to do these these three squares here and see what it looks like there. And then we're going to go up the next row and see how it looks. So 460 to 462 is next. This video is going to go a little bit long. I want to at least mark out, like I said, I want to mark out this hot spot with you guys just so we can see exactly what it is. But so far it looks freaking phenomenal. And oh man, like I said, this is exactly what we need. Um, we need the tiles to keep coming like this. We need another, at least another line of great tiles like that. And this will be what could possibly get us into that rank one spot. But it is also going to take a lot, a lot of time and effort. Um, so I am going to do, I am going to do my best to put in as much effort as I can. But I can't promise we can still hit that rank one spot. Who knows? You know, that's the thing. You never know what the other guy is mining and what he's doing. He could have, like, top-notch, supreme frickin' strategy where he might be mining less gold than us, but he's putting in, he's putting in the effort and he's mining longer hours than us. And he's got, like the way to mine it down pat. Now, I'm not trying to like throw a wrench into anybody's enthusiasm or anything like that, but got to control myself. Man, oh god. I cannot I cannot contain it. Oh, look at this stuff. I mean, there's like not even a lot of overburden on any of these good tiles here. Look at this. I mean, this is just like how do you ask for much better 
than this stuff. Even these edge ones, you know, five and a half meters is not bad to have to dig through. But most of these, you could almost, you could mine these without stripping the overburden off if you wanted to. Which, to be honest, I'm going to strip the overburden off because I want to make sure we're getting good clean outs. I'm going to make sure I'm taking off any bit I can to help our numbers out and Oh yeah, I don't think I'll have any problem removing this overburden, knowing what's underneath it. It'll be, it's not going to be as exciting as knowing that you're going to, that you're running the good pay dirt, but it's going to be like super good motivation to get what's underneath. That's for damn sure. So let's keep this going. I'm not sure. Yeah, 914 ounces. So like I said, I said 915. I was off by 0.06 but yeah that was that whole last clean out so 915 ounces for 12 clean outs worth of stuff not great however I think if we do if we do 12 clean outs worth of stuff in here yeah we ought to be seeing like 3,000 ounces no probably not I mean we probably will see over 2,000 with 12 clean outs out of here, but. I'm gonna take a look at the gold map after this tile just to make sure that we're still hitting some good stuff here. Oh yeah, it just, it just keeps coming. Oh, look at these numbers, 845s, you know. Oh my God. Now, if this was the only hot spot on the claim, I would be okay with that. I would be just fine with that if this was the only hot spot, just because of the numbers that, that's coming out of this. I mean, <laughs> like I said, I think our best tile on the last claim was was in the 600s, and we're seeing like whole freaking rows that are seven and a half to 900. It's like, oh my god so nice I just wish I owned the claim if we owned the claim we'd get to see all that gold however I think it you know if we get a couple if we get several clean outs banged out here pretty quick we might end up owning this claim before the end of the leaderboard event with numbers like this Just wish you could drill faster. Drill faster, we want to know the results. Look at it, it just keeps coming. I mean, just monster numbers here. I don't think we're going to be able to drill out this whole hotspot in this episode. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this row with you guys, and then we're going to have to call it an episode. I didn't think this hotspot would be this big. We're already, we're already almost 35 minutes in. And we haven't even outlined this whole hotspot yet, and it just it just keeps popping up our day. You know, this is absolutely great. I should go get myself a Powerball ticket. Seeing numbers like this, I should just go get myself a Powerball ticket, right? Win myself the lottery and go buy a mining operation like this in Alaska. No, absolutely. Well, I don't know. If I had the money to buy it, I don't know that I would or not. I know if I could see numbers like this, I'd do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'd love to hold this much gold in real life. That would be... That would be nuts, though. That would almost be like... I don't know. I don't even know. Let's take a look at this tile here, and then we'll see what what we got. So yeah, this whole strip through here is all just fabulous numbers. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this all marked out. I'm going to make sure I uh, drill through these tiles around here just to make sure that they're dead and keep going up and around through here, and I'll get the whole rest of the claim. But I'll do that off camera, and then uh, the next episode you guys will get to see this. The only thing I'll be working on is probably the trail and maybe setting up the claim too. 
setting up the claim first maybe the trail afterwards the trail might get done on camera i'm not sure but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this episode i am so freaking stoked to get into this stuff can't wait to see how big this hot spot is and what the whole claim looks like can't wait to get to mining it so i'm going to be putting in some extra effort getting this done and Hopefully it turns out well for us. So thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys smash that like button for me. Comment down below what are your thoughts on this hotspot. How much bigger do you think it's going to be? And do you guys think with hotspot like this we'll be able to hit rank 1 or not? Uh, do you think I can put in enough effort to get it done? So you guys let me know in the comment section down below. As always guys, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Trigger those notification bells so you guys know when my videos come out. So again, thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys for the next episode.